Now, the key uh, to understanding satanic philosophy is Genesis chapter 3. <clears throat> okay, ye can be as gods knowing good and evil. Look at this. Thirdly, we must outgrow the increasingly erroneous notion of good and bad as seen by a particular group. You mean like Christians? be it a race, a nation, a faith, an ideology, or a business, and define new concepts of what is good or bad for the entire human family. This is absolutely essential. Ye can be as gods knowing good and evil. That's what's going on there. Okay, satanic philosophy. We must eliminate absolute truth. That's what they want to do. <clears throat> now, I included this... Uh, section here just to show you that this is very popular with the new age movement they'll put sisters and brothers they won't say brethren or mankind or things like that or all men are to be saved no they put in sisters and a lot of these new versions almost all of them now the tniv the, the new revised standard version and another one i'm going to be showing here in the next video they all are going to the adding sisters and there's no greek manuscript support for it by the way i might add that not even from the corrupt text. Okay, now let me show you the philosophy here. How happy the Gautama Buddha, Jesus and Mohammed, would be if they could see the United Nations. Yeah, I don't think so. For the first time, the dream of the Catholic Universal Church was fulfilled. See, there's your Antichrist Church right there. Okay, that's the one. Mystery Babylon. Study the Bible for more on that. Okay, over here, there is no doubt that Paul the sixth, together with John the twenty-third and John Paul the second, will be uh, remembered as the three great popes of peace, pioneers of a momentous transcendence of the Catholic Church into the new age. Okay, uh, let us not forget that the Catholic. Oops, let me move it up. Let us not forget that the Catholic Pope, like the Secretary General of the UN, is a global ecumenic uh, man who has the whole world and its people at heart. Yes, he is. He's going to be the false prophet. I don't believe that the Pope will be the Antichrist, but I do believe he's going to be the false prophet. Bishop Marcinkus, my counterpart at the Vatican, told me that he had a reproduction of Harry Anderson's famous painting, the Prince of Peace, showing Christ knocking at the UN building, placed on one of the itineraries of the Pope in the Vatican. He casually made the Pope stop in front of it and said to him, This is what you are supposed to do in New York. I answered Marcinkus, You are wrong. Jesus is already inside the UN building. Oh boy, look at that. Talk about blasphemy. What he's saying there is that the Pope is Jesus. And that's what Catholic teaching is, by the way. And I don't care what Catholics, you know, how much they deny that. That's what they teach. The Pope is another Christ. Okay, here he gets into a whole bunch of stuff there. Again, pause it if you want to read all that nonsense. But over here, look at this paragraph. I would also like to see published someday Bible which would show how the United Nations is a modern biblical institution bent on implementing worldwide the wise precepts and divine commandments of the Bible, I would like to see the same thing done for all great religious or sacred books, such as the Quran, the Great Sahib, etc. See, the New Agers, these prominent New Agers, want to pervert the Bible. They want to see a modern Bible, a new Bible that would show global oneness and things like that. That's their desire. <clears throat> so you say, well, these new, you know, there's no new age conspiracy. I just showed you the proof of it. Okay, down here he says, I would be very happy to be con counted among those and to become one of the first members of a new world monastic order. Oh boy. Again, you have a Roman Catholic writing this book, a new age occult Roman Catholic and he's saying he wants to be part of a new order. Okay, next we have this quote here. It says, When I read documents emanating from the Holy See dealing with social issues, I sometimes have the impression that I am reading United Nations documents. <laughs> yeah. Gotta love that. 
And look at this one. Different goals that he has. One of which is to display the UN flag in all their houses of worship. Hmm. Well, I guess if you're a 501c3 corporation under the government, that's probably not too far off in your future. Okay, and here he writes his own uh, meaning of Genesis. Now, remember what I said earlier about how that uh, satanic philosophy, true satanic philosophy is to eliminate right and wrong, to teach people that they can become God themselves. <clears throat> and look what this nut says down here. And God saw that men were destroying their arms, bombs, missiles, warships, and warplanes, dismantling their bases, and expanding their armies, keeping only policemen of peace, <laughs> uh -huh, sure, to protect the good from the bad and the normal from the mad. See, if you're, this is the future right here, folks. If you're a Bible believer and say, Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life, no man cometh unto the Father but by him, but by Jesus, but by me, it says there in the text. If you do that, well, then you'll be considered mad. You'll be considered a terrorist, and you'll have to be eliminated or re-educated. And God saw humans restore God and the human person as the Alpha and Omega. Right there, satanic philosophy. Ye can be as gods. In closing, I want to read one more verse to you. Okay, Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16. Many of you are probably familiar with this, but it says, Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways, and see and ask for the old paths. Almost 400 years old. This coming year it will be. Ask for the old paths, where is the good way? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. This junk over here isn't going to bring you rest. Okay, if this is the side that you're on, you're going to be confused. You're not going to have peace. I came from this side, okay? I know. All right? Right here is where you find peace and rest. Now, I pray that you out there will realize, you the viewer, if you're for this junk over here, you'll start to realize and you'll submit to the Holy Spirit and say, you know what? Yeah, I do see some of this stuff. That is bad. They shouldn't be saying new order. That's really bad. The King James Bible is the real one. This is the real Bible right here. This whole thing over here, this whole agenda is to try and get rid of this book. That's what it's about. But I know some of you out there are just wicked. You've gone over to the spirit of Antichrist over here. You could care less about the old ways. You, to you, you're of this philosophy right here. New. We need to evolve. We need to move forward. Let's destroy the old ways. See, we want the new order. This is your philosophy right here. This is the philosophy of the new Bible versions. It's let's all join together. Let's not fight. Let's not be King James only. You know, that's the philosophy of it. Okay, again, I'm from that side. All right, I know. And so the rest of the verse is for you. But they said, we will not walk therein. Study ancient Israel, especially the book of Jeremiah. And you'll see a lot of parallels between ancient Israel and modern-day United States. The United States of America is following the same exact path as ancient Israel. Okay? We were a godly nation. And, you know, England is the same way. They were a very godly nation. They were the ones who created the King James Bible. Okay? And they are going away. They're falling away. And the United States is, is as well. And you can see a lot of parallels back in the book of Jeremiah. And you'll see it time and time again. These people are turning on the Word of God. Just like these people over here are today. Okay? So that's it for the video. Thank you for watching.